Subscribe, thank you! Hey kid, what is the biggest, I mean biggest dream you have ever dreamed? President! That's a biggie! A pickle jar of my own! Oh, I had no idea, Dill. To learn my secret superpower! Uh, I can't wait to find out what that is, Corny. To live in freedom! Oh, a voila bear. Straight to the heart. To be a superhero of kindness. You're already on your way, Doug. And sometimes when you're reaching for that big dream, and you talk about it, you'll hear someday someone say, you have to reach for the stars. But in this book, the kid, May, who is a real person, doesn't just want to reach for the stars. Oh, no. She wants to be among the stars. Like this, yes, just like that. But for real, not because, you know, your off-screen technical genius suddenly put you in outer space. Thank you, off-screen technical genius! Of course. So, May Among the Stars dreamt of being among the stars like an astronaut. Well, that dream is out of this world! Oh, I see what you did there! <laughs> but did she make it? That's a long way to go. That's a very big dream. Let's see. May, did you make it to the stars? Did you make it into outer space? After all, as I may have mentioned at the top of the story, this is based on a true story. There she is, a little kid dreaming. Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed, but Little May was different. Who says daydreamers don't succeed? How are dreams supposed to start? One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. I see she's having the classic milk and cookies, you know, for your strength to keep up your energy for that school assignment. What she wanted to be when she grew up. The classic question that every kid has to face, right? What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth. There's dad whipping up some eggs, and there's mom having your coffee, and she wants to see Earth. What did her parents say? This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, the mountains, we live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. From out there. That's different. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way, you can see Earth from space. Astronaut? Do you think I could do that? Of course you can. If you can dream it, if you believe it, and if you work hard for it, anything is possible. Oh, I like May's mom. She thinks the same way I think. If you work hard at it, anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library. Ah, oh, yes. The library full of inspiring, big, beautiful books where I was wanting to check out like a million of them at the same time, just like May. Now, she searched for books about space and astronauts, which makes perfect sense, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense because if you do not know how to go to outer space, and if you don't have a, a rocket ship in your backyard, yes, if you do not have a rocket ship, that is how you find out how to maybe go fight one. Yeah, and then like get on it, and then fly it, and then go out in outer space, and then make your dreams come true. Yeah, yeah. And it all begins at the library, reading a book about it. After dinner, May drew pictures of space. Space space space, 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 space. And she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. An astronaut rocket made out of boxes? Sort of like a box fort, but a box rocket? Why not? Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, 
believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. Notice how they keep talking about how you have to work for it? Because dreams, dreams are amazing, but you can't just go pick a dream off of the dream tree. There's a dream tree? No, there's there's not a dream tree. I'm just saying that they don't just, you know, fall off of, of trees and just land in your lap like that. So, oh, uh, I'm not gonna have a pickle jar just land on my lap? N no, you're gonna have to work for your own pickle jar. Oh, that's how it is. We gotta work for the dream. But space is so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. Oh, so Dad and Mom believe in May's gigantic dream. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space. Do, do, do. I'm on a spacewalk. Do, do, do. Surrounded by Billions of sparkling stars. Look at them sparkle. And below her, she could see Earth floating and turning into like a shiny crystal ball because I bet that from way up there, Earth looks so teeny, teeny, tiny and blue. The next morning, May told her parents all about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone, her grandma, the lady at the grocery store, a random cat. Meow. And every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. Because that's what dreams do to us. They light us up from inside. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Oh, we can see we're in the classroom. We've got the alphabet going on up here. Today, we are all going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be and what do you want to do when you grow up? Again, that classic question that you hear all the time. Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher, a football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. All the kids started laughing. Miss hmm. Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. Wait, why, why, why would she say that? She wants to be an astronaut. And being a nurse is not the same at all. I know, it's not the same at all. It's kind of crazy that she just said no, be a nurse instead, but I'll I'll explain why, Green Bear. <laughs> no, it's okay, just take a deep breath. <laughs> I, I want the teacher to believe in her dream. I want the teacher to believe in her dream too. But back when May was a little girl, uh, you didn't see women astronauts. No? No, there were not even a lot of women in science. That was sort of considered a man career. Well, that's crazy. I know. That's how it was. And not only that, when women had careers, they usually kind of got pushed into being nurses or teachers, but not too many other kinds of careers were encouraged among a lot of women. Oh, that, that doesn't seem right. Well, it's not like that anymore. Yeah, yeah, because everybody has to be what they want to be. Exactly. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Because, you know, not everyone's going to have the same vision that you have, kid. They don't necessarily know what your heart is or your, your willingness to work hard for that big dream or maybe they think it's impossible because they never dreamt that dream. But sometimes you have to dream your dream, you know, and not get encouragement necessarily, but she's got it at home. Let's see what happens. I don't wanna be a nurse. I wanna be an astronaut. Yeah, you tell her, May. May, oh, 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 we're getting very blue now. Oh, 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 don't be sad, May. Oh, she's blue because the teacher told her like a sad response and was not encouraging. Why would she do that? Oh, she made a mistake, dog. Oh, uh, grown-ups can make mistakes. Sometimes they do, yeah. Oh, it'll be okay, May. It'll be okay, won't it? I think so. Okay, okay, okay. May felt very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold 
nothing was the way it used to be because she just got the very first no. And no's make you sad. Let's keep on going though because we can't stop with the first no we get or we wouldn't get very far, would we? At home, May started crying. <gasps> Miss Bell said I can't become an astronaut. Oh, what a silly thing to say, said her mother. She, she told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of, of course I believe her. She's my teacher. Well, I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I, I promise that when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. That's right. And look at her. her, her everything has changed now. She's lit up again because, again, big dreams light us up from inside. And she's got that fire going again. And she's feeling encouraged. And she's going to do her thing. And she's made a promise. She's going to wave to Mom and Dad from the spaceship. Now, will it happen? Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. And even the cat is dancing. Meow, 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 meow. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard, and guess what? <laughs> is that her? Is that her? Is that me? That's me! She made it to outer space! Is she? Is she? If you can dream it, you can do it! And she did it. She worked for it. She dreamt it. She did it. She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. But do you want to know the rest of the story? There's more! There's more! May ended up graduating from high school at 16, going to Stanford University, becoming a chemical engineer, then becoming a doctor, and then going to Africa with the Peace Corps as a doctor, and then applying to NASA to be an astronaut. Wow! And they said yes! And they said yes! So she ended up going up in the space shuttle Endeavor in 1992, becoming the first black woman ever to go into outer space, 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 space. Wow, I'm so incredibly impressed. What a superpower. Wow, so she dreamt it and then she did it and, and she became the first one ever to go out of space like that. Yeah, she's the first black lady to ever be in outer space. So she made history. Like I'm gonna make history as the first green president. Exactly the same thing. It's a good thing she didn't stop at the no. I know. Can you imagine if she had stopped at the no kid? I am so happy that she was not too sad for too long. Yeah, because she was sad when the teacher told her that she should be something else. But she believed bigger than that. And like you said, she followed her vision. Her vision. Her vision. Because everyone has a vision of what their big dreams are, kid. And part of being a dreamer is being what? A doer. A doer. That's right. And that means that sometimes people are going to say no, but you have to say yes on the inside and keep that fire lit inside so you can also reach for your star's kid.